Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Del Y from CZT Stephanie Jennifer. So this is a neat tangle. It's, it's super cute and super simple and lots of ways you can use it. Lots of bonuses there. So I'm going to do one just a, a large size so we can see how, how to do it. So this starts uh, with two seed shapes coming out of a center. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna make that fit. And I, I'm gonna do it this way. I was, I was playing with the way to turn it so that way my hand is comfortable. Uh, and make sure you do that. If you don't know, that's a, that is a Zentangle thing. We want to make sure that your hand is comfortable and then also, kind of with that, there's a consistency sometimes <laughs> that goes with that. So you, you plant your hand and you use that natural curve because you're like pivoting on the heel of your hand, right? Um, so that sometimes helps. So two seed shapes. And as you could have, as you could see, a seed shape is a curve line going one way, curve line going the other way, meeting at both ends. And then we're going to do one just tucked in the center here, coming right up like so. Then two more curved lines uh, coming, you know, kind of coming from wherever you want, but it's a little bit inside of the, the end of this seed. Like that. And then from the other side, meeting up at the top. And voila! There you have it. It is super cute. Now on uh, uh, on Stephanie's a blog where this uh, tangle is housed and that link is in the description section she shows a couple other ways to use this and it's uh, it's rather neat and I thought well why not because this would probably win the record for um, the quickie quickiest quickie video uh, but I, I, I thought I might show how to do uh, at least the flower shape so you know pick a middle or it ends up looking like a flower. And as I was thinking about it, it's kind of like using this as a freeform fragment. Say that five times fast. Because usually when we're looking at, at the concept of fragments and reticula, there is, there's like the square shapes, round shapes, triangles, you know, and, and things like that. But this is really just a freeform. And then we, you can put it together in different angles, right? And that's what I'm calling them. I'm, I'm sticking to it. All right, so we're going to go a little bit smaller. And so seed shape. Whoop, have a neat seed shape. And we're going to do four of them coming out of the same space. Like so. Then we'll do that center one. Now, one thing I noticed in, in Stephanie, uh, she made her um, her seed shapes a lot smaller when she was combining them. I'm kind of, do, or narrower or something there. Um, and then like sticking, going up a little bit. Whoa, I've lost track there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I think I've, let me look at my, oh yes, because I should have a cross and, nope, I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, one, two, yeah. <laughs> See, I should not, sometimes don't talk and tangle. All right. So then, <laughs> and I'm like, and which, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to have, actually, you know, once you have this, if you decided to change it up, you know, and have, which I'm, I'm thinking I might, and you could have this last shape go anywhere, um, one of those, it, it, uh, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to change it up just cuz. So again, right from, you know, the the almost end of the seed shape. And there we go. And it's just it's just really really cute. Um you could if you wanted to, oh, and maybe I'll do it right here. Um, use it as a border 
Oh, maybe I'll, I'm going to start here. Maybe I'll go halfway around. So you, of course, then, well, not of course. I'm going to make it smaller here. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to try. Let's see if I can make, well, it really does help to turn the tile. I'm going to try, I was going to try to make them a little bit um, different angle as I see that, uh, that she does, because it's just kind of cute. And I'm trying to do it to the, so you just have them, you know, right, you know, one after the next. And then you can always work just like that to, uh, to turn it. You can do that here, of course. Oh, let's do one more because it needs, it, it's calling for one more. But you'll see what I mean when you take a look at the For More Inspiration link. Um, and then she adds, uh, you know, some. Um, oh, yeah, see, and I, I, I don't really need to look at where she's where she's putting them. So just some, like, little fescue coming out from the sides because that is always fun. You know, we could add some coming from here. I'll do a nice little, what we, what we call a fancy fescue. <laughs> add one on one side, I really need to add one on the other side. They're just really fun, fun to draw. So I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger. Thank goodness it, we fill in this part so you can. <laughs> so really fun. Oh, and then, you know, of course, you know, if you, you want to add a little something in that center, just a line is nice. Let's see. Oh, this is calling for it to put some more in there, too. Ooh. It's just neat. It's just neat. So, hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> if you did, you know, and, and, if I, I do like these ones that have so many ways that you can have fun with it. Oh, and you know what? Let me, because this just calls for little lines. Just some thoughts on, you know, if you're just doing it plain, because you can apply this over here as well. Um, Do some you know, regular, what I would call like regular seed shading, which is putting some graphite on both ends and bringing it into the middle. Just like that. And then, let's see, I, first I was thinking, oh, well, you know, these are kind of over this, so you could put graphite on the outside, but. Like at this point, it'd be too much, but you know, you can just add a little bit of graphite at the, at the top. I'm just using this brush on my very well loved Tortillon. <laughs> yeah, it just adds a little something. So, you know, nice, simple. You could do that. You could apply it to here if you wish. And um, like I said, lots of fun with this thing. So, again, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Click the like button. Feel free to share it, uh, comment, and if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber on the channel. Um, I mentioned the description section. I have links to my version of the Step Out as well as um, Stephanie's. Below that, ways to connect with me if you wish, or a link to my website and our wonderful Facebook. Uh, we have a private Facebook group, and uh, like I said, would love to have you tangle with us there. Uh, I do classes, by the way. Uh, information is on the website. Um, a lot of them are free. I do have some that are paid, so I can keep going. <laughs> uh, but would love to have you join us sometime for, uh, start off with the free. I mean, that would be silly not to, right? Um, see if you like us enough to 
to join us for more. So with that, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.